city of Hereford beats to two hearts. Its tourist industry, and come to that its history, is dominated by the cathedral and the ancient alleyways that run around it. The other heart is the working one, just as old and still going strong. On market day, the farmers come in from the county to trade and talk. But this week, even the cattle market, even the cathedral choir has been drowned, because this week, Hereford marches to a different drummer. All the Radio Wyvern crew, we got together and just recently recorded the song Up For The Club. Everyone's singing it at the moment, it goes like this. Up For The Club The Up For The Cup record is just one of many special souvenirs made to mark the big day. The Edgar Street ground has been open all hours since the famous fourth round draw with Manchester United. The new stand is ready, the pitch, well it'll do. All the seats are sold, while down below in the boardroom, everyone hopes for history. It's the biggest thing that has ever happened in the history. Uh, all the old feelings coming back, uh, the pedigree Hereford Bull is being uh, groomed, ready to be paraded round the pitch. Uh, the hotels are, are, are full, uh, the bars are all full, everybody's talking about Manchester United, singing the song, um, it's given a great lift. In the city centre, some local traders are blooming with cup fever, while down at the printing presses... Good afternoon, here's the time. A special colour supplement has been prepared, and here's a chap who probably knows more about sport than anyone else in Hereford. Ted Woodruff has been following the United for 40 years. Of course, there's always a magic to the FA Cup, uh, and it's happened all over the years. And as, as soon as they heard that Manchester United was coming here, even though we played a lot of first division clubs over the years, Manchester United is something special. You know, they've got they, they've got the name; they're the glamour club. And even though they're not doing very well in the first division at the moment, everyone wants to go along and watch them. What of traditional Hereford? What does it make of the big match? Back at the market, some even forget about the cattle to talk of the cup. Well, there's a lot of excitement, but the biggest job is getting a ticket. But um, most people are talking about it. The farmers are coming in today um, saying, have you got your ticket? And some are saying, well, I haven't. <laughs> but um, generally, I think there is a good atmosphere and there'll be plenty of excitement here on Saturday. There's no doubt about that. And can Manchester be beaten? Oh, yes, of course they can. Yes. I've been wrong before. And the church? Well, prayers are always said on Sunday for all those in sporting battle. Well, I think it's very exciting. I think it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for Hereford and for, for our local team to show their mettle. And I've got every confidence that they will give a very good display and a highly creditable performance. Whether they get divine guidance or not, let's just hope on Sunday everyone in Hereford has something to sing about. The English Riviera, where the sun always shines, the boats bob in the harbour, the fresh Devon air blows in, and where footballers come this time of the year seeking a cup tonic. Part of soccer tradition, a reward for success, is a few days away by the sea. The big boys fly off to Portugal or Spain, but for Hereford this week, it's been the West Country. And what must be going through their minds? The orders are to relax, but for most of these lads, Sunday's game will be one of the grandest occasions of their careers. Skipper Mel Pedgick has played more league games for the club than any other man and has been with Hereford in the Cup before. It's been a few years now since we've got a game like this. The last one was obviously Arsenal uh, a few years ago now. Um, but it's just nice to be uh, associated with something like this again. It, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good opportunity for the lads to sort of see how they can compare themselves against a team like Manchester United, especially the younger lads as well. I mean, because obviously they're just starting out in their career. So it's a good opportunity for, for not only the young, the young lads, but obviously everybody associated with the football club. From the senior pro to the junior, at 20, goalkeeper Tony Elliott is the youngest. People keep asking me how I feel and, you know, giving me best wishes and all that sort of thing. It's good to be a celebrity, isn't it? It's nice. <laughs> Put a week or two and then the game's over and we're uh, back to normal then. The Hereford hopes are sky high, their hearts are set on victory. Who knows, on Sunday, Manchester United might just get washed out to sea. <laughs>